go any place. It will help if I actually start recording this, so they just missed the game. Um, <laughs> but uh, tell when your next team meeting is out in Cali uh, for your Cali ladies. It is on uh, Tuesday, the uh, or not Tuesday, Wednesday, the twelfth of October at six o'clock. We have a Facebook event set up for it, so anyone that's in the SoCal group would have already gotten a notification for it. Awesome sauce! So make sure you are checking your Facebook um, events and everything, ladies, because unfortunately, with summer parties, we were able to put um, stuff up where people can just go on the website and actually see what meetings are coming up and everything and we don't have that for this um hold on one second uh Eva, if you could tell us about where to park uh right literally across the street next to the white truck hello um sorry i have another Hi. person who's coming okay um next thing the new products that just launched how many of you got the new products so far <laughs> all right ladies i got some too um i didn't get all the lingerie but i want to show just in case you didn't see what it was how many of you got this salted caramel whipped all right if you have not gotten it you need to get it you just need to you, even if you can't get a case get three one for your demo, one to sell, and one to keep on your desk. When you want a little sweet, I'm dead serious. I took this out because I was like, ah, I need to put it on my demo. Well, let me try it. And I've kept it on my desk. And I find myself looking at my hand just a little bit. And people at my parties this weekend thought I was cuckoo crazy until they tried it. And the whole time as I'm talking about the sleeves, I'm seeing this. <laughs> And I'm like, uh-huh, so y'all thought I was playing. It's, it's calorie-free, and it gives you that quick little sweet treat if you want it. And it's, would you say no Weight Watchers points? I always say that. No calories, no zero calorie, Weight Watchers points. Zero Weight Watchers points. So you can't go wrong with this. And there's, there's a good demo for you. Um, so it is the salted mm. caramel whip. You can smell it as soon as you open up the tube. So I'm going to pass it around. So I mean, just put a little dab. That's all you need. Just a little dab on your hand about that much. And just, I always say rub it in because other than that, it tastes a little more lotion-y. But if you rub it in well, and then look at it, it tastes a lot better. So I will. Here's how I do it. I just open it. She just oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she just it. Was, it's written. It actually has caramel in it. So it, yeah, it's delicious. Um, also, the lingerie. I have two of the four pieces. Um, let me see. You see this? Isn't this sexy? This is so. Sexy. Um, it is awesome. Hello, come on in. Come on in. So, so sexy. This is called uh, Take a Plunge. Um, ladies, you can, I mean, if you have some risque clients um, or anything, you can, and I have this on my body forms. You can get the store supply. Um, okay, so if anybody can mute their uh, phones with everything, because I hear background noise so i know some of you are at work and everything um if you can mute your phones or your uh things if you have a question then go ahead and unmute yourself um but ladies you can actually tell them and it's one piece so it's a front and it's backless you can tell them put on a cute little pencil skirt and they have this like put on some pasties so they can't see the nipples put on a jacket and you have yourself a cute little club outfit, okay? Uh, take a plunge, take a plunge, take a plunge. I don't know, something with plunge. Um, uh, so it's just a cute little outfit, something a little round. So I'll pass that around so you guys are. And the material is so nice. Um, my favorite one is this one. This is woke up like this, okay? Sexy, so gorgeous, stretchy soft lace it's not scratchy or itchy um and boy shorts we finally have something that is not going to go up to the crack of our behinds okay and it comes in this cute turquoise color but also a blush lace this price point is amazing if you aren't showing lingerie start with this this is only 39 dollars okay it is such a great price point um and this could be sold you can sell out of this all the time all right. Um, I think that's it for announcements. If I yeah, 
Where did you get these from? Oh, so the body forms, I'm sorry, I started saying it and then I went squirrely. The body forms I actually got from Store Supply. So if you go to storesupply.com um, and type in body forms, I can post the link in the event. And um, they're six bucks a piece. And if you're on the East Coast, I'm not sure how the West Coast works, but on the East Coast, as long as you order by three or four o'clock, um, it comes to me. Because um, they're right in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, so they're not far. Mm -hmm. uh, blush uh, for the, it's turquoise and blush for that one. So um, it's called I Woke Up Like This. Yes. All right. So who is else I'm seeing? Oh, hey, Keisha. I thought that was you. I'm like, it looked like Keisha, but I'm not sure. All right. Sorry. Okay. So we are going to get started with our special guests because um, we're running a tad behind. And for my out of state girls, I'm going to make sure you all get a mouthful and an earful um, of what, who our guest speaker is. So um, you all seen Vicki when we were playing our game. She has been there for five years. But Vicki consistently does $100,000 plus each and every year. She is a national director. Um, how many do you have in your team? Maybe about. You know, like 85 or something. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we like goals. <laughs> we are like goals. Yeah, so 85 people on her team plus um, in the Delaware area. And so um, she was gracious to take me down from Delaware to show us how we too can get our money um, in the shopping room. So, ladies, don't think, okay, I'm going to start this next year. Whatever you start, you should actually start it now so that it can reflect for next year because it could be a snowball effect. So she's going to give us our secrets and everything um, so that we can be ready for next year. So let's give it up. I'm looking for my pen. We're going to give it up for Yay! Vicki. Hey. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. So I did write, I know all this stuff by heart, but there was a couple things I wanted to make sure that I um, didn't forget. Um, so I heard it on this little piece of paper. Um, so um, I feel like I probably shine most in the shopping room. Um, and so I'm just really good at when someone comes in and they're like, oh, I only have 50 bucks. I'm like, oh, I'm going to give it 150. Okay. So um, because we're all about treating. I'm all about treat yourself. So we're women. And we really do everything for everyone. Now, do we do moms here? Okay, so you know how that goes, right? You do everything for your kids, and you rarely, rarely treat yourself, right? Do you treat yourself? Oh, yeah. I treat myself. Oh, right, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of women, they actually just take care of their take care of their, husband, take care of their house. And they really rarely buy stuff for themselves. So I'm really just about showing them that, like, hey, you should treat yourself. You really should. Does anyone go out and do anything special for you on a regular basis? Probably not. I mean, a lot of us have husbands that do, but mainly we have to treat ourselves. We deserve it, right? And so a lot of women, they don't realize they deserve it, and they do. So that's really kind of where I come from in the shopping room. To get a really nice, like, my average party is about $1,300. To get a high party like that, it all starts when you book your party and hostess coaching. So you really, really, really have to focus on hostess coaching. You want to do a lot of party planning with your hostess. She is your business partner. She is your best friend. You guys have to connect. So there's an awesome microsite on the COO. It's a partyplanning.pyramance.com. I shove that down my team's throats just because it's. I use everything on that site. So here's the thing. I don't know if anybody knows this. Can we get a kit like this year? Does anybody get a kit? It's also in the kit. It's also in the kit. But use that resource even because there's all kinds of cool troubleshoot and they're always updated. You know, Pure Romance totally takes care of us. So, yes, it's in the kit. And so anybody that you're bringing on to the business, they're going to have it in paper form. And they're also... I told you to do that a long time ago. Yes. <laughs> I told you we're not, we're not classy here at all. <laughs> so anyway, it all starts with hostess coaching, and you want to make sure that you're getting the guests there. So getting people to the party—that's your goal. Because even though you might be a really 
be able to sell $200 to somebody, if there's only three people there, that's only a six hundred party. So the more people you want to have them over, 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 invite, and that microsite will absolutely teach you how to do that. And then just with the tips that you're learning and stuff, but you really need to get more people to the party. Um, and at your party, you need to be engaging and fun. Like, are you fun? Like you need to maybe videotape yourself or you need to maybe look in the mirror, right? <laughs> you have to be fun because guess what? People aren't going to book with you if you're not fun. You need to be fun and complimentary and just really making eye contact like I'm doing with everyone and just kind of, Really just be fun, smile a lot. Um, you want them writing stuff down on their wish list. Whether you have a wish list that you print out or you use the customer connection cards, you want them writing stuff down. So me, when I do my parties, um, this is what I give out. I actually have the wish list. Oh, sorry. I actually have the wish list. I take my wish list and I, this is the customer oh, connection no, card, but no. I'm mine. <laughs> so what I do is I have it all written. I get this. I think from um, Linda Coons. She posted it in, one, in the board page a couple years ago, and I love it. Okay, so so what I do is I just basically take my customer connection card, and I because you know why there's one question on the customer connection card that I do care for. It's do you want to be added to my mailing list? It's not a question. You're being yes. added to my mailing list. You don't want to be in it. Once you get your first newsletter, you can opt out, right? So this is every single thing. It's, you know, you host your blah, blah, blah. And this is what I say at my parties. Hi, ladies. It's so great to have you here, blah, blah, blah. And then I go on and I say, right? <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to get this picture. Oh, I'll put, it, I'll put it in the thing. I'll put it in the event. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I will. So, and I use laugh words at my parties. So these are just um, binders yeah. that I get. I just cut and I just use these. And then I always have something on the back. Right now it's just about um, sponsorship um, since I'm shooting for 36 this year. So I do like a little sponsorship thing. And it's just, I don't even know where I got this. Somewhere, I'll, you know, there's so many tips everywhere. And I just print something out. So I always have something on the back. So whether it's trying to get parties or sponsorship or whatever. And I don't, you know, I don't mention, you know, if they, you know, people want to read it or whatever. It's just there if they're like sitting there. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is great, right? Um, so anyway, this is what I do, and this is what I say. Ladies, tonight what I want you guys to do is I want you to fill out this first part right here, and I want you to put all your information. This is our connection card. And your hostess tonight is Naughty Nakia. So you're going to put Naughty Nakia here so that way I know you're at her party. This part right here we're not going to fill out tonight. I mean, we're not going to fill out right now. We're going to fill it out at the end of the party because guess what? I want to make sure I get good marks from you guys because I have to show this to my boss, Mr. Gray. He's super strict. <laughs> so I just say that. And then so I don't have them fill out this part. So no one's allowed to fill this out till the end of the party because automatically some people, as soon as they start this, they're like, no, no, I got a party. I want to be, I don't know. They just got here. I might just wrap their socks. I don't know, right? So we don't fill out this. But this part right here, you're going to fill this whole thing out. So when we're going through the book, we're going to go through the book, starting in front, working on our working over the back, which is the back. Anyway, we're going to go through and we're going to write down everything on your wish list. So this is going to be stuff that you find interesting. Maybe it's something you want to taste a different flavor, smell a different scent. Um, maybe it's something you might want to buy in a year. Just stuff that you love, but we're going to fill this whole entire wish list out. Do not feel weird about filling this whole thing out. 99% of women fill the whole thing out. If you got like two things, I'm going to call you out and be like, girl, you need to step up your game and put stuff on your wish list. Now, the reason why I do that is because, number one, I don't want them to feel like a freak if they have like 10 things on their wish list. And I want them filling out this wish list because this is what I'm going to work from in the shopping room. I want everybody to have an every deal. Okay. And I really do not start the party until everyone does this. Okay. And so, Frequently throughout my party, as I'm telling jokes and engaging and talking to people, and I have everybody wear the name tags as well, and I'll be able to talk to somebody and I'll be able to call people, oh, Kinky Kendra, oh my gosh, blah, 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 or whatever. I really try to interact with all my guests, um, and then I'll say, okay, who here has, because I'm a big fan of the tickets, I'm sure you do that too, right? That, like, just giving out raffle tickets. So I do, like, a little raffle drawing. You get there on time, you get a raffle ticket. If you bring a friend, you get three more. And I, I just keep it up here. And if you, you know, how many nerve endings with a splitter is, if you know the answer, I'll give you a ticket. But anybody, who has five or more things on their wish list? Oh, she is really keeping track. So people raise their hand, I give them a ticket. Then maybe, like, a couple pages later, who has eight or more things on their wish list? 
So as they're writing down, they're getting tickets. So they want to write. I really encourage everyone to write on their wish list because this is what is you're going to work with in the shopping room. Okay. So I pass these out to everyone and then we get started with the party. So, um, I also say, ladies, one of the things you're going to do tonight is you want to hook up your hostess. So I have one job. My one job here is to make sure you guys have fun and you guys have three jobs. When you become a consultant, you can just have one job too, but tonight you guys are going to have three jobs. Number one, your first job is going to be have fun. Number two, your job is going to be write stuff down. When I say, oh girl, write that down, it's probably because it's something that maybe it's always on back order, but I have plenty of stock up tonight, or maybe um, it's something that I think is going to really enhance your pure romance experience. Um, so I always say write that down. And your third job is going to be hook Nakia up. I mean, come on. She cleaned for you. She cooked for you. She got everybody out of the house for you. She's trying to get you guys drunk, whatever. We want to hook her up. She sent me her wish list, and guess what? Her wish list is like six pages. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then everyone will laugh, okay? So that's what I say. We really want to hook her up because, you know, a percentage of your order is going to help Nakia out, and we really want to help out our hostess tonight. So that's just something else I want to remind them why they're shopping tonight. Everyone's going to shop because everyone wants to help Nakia. So... Just because, you know, sometimes when they come and they're like, I'm just coming here for the entertainment. No, you're coming here to shop because we're going to hook up Nakia because look what she did for you. She got you refreshments. She got you something to eat. And her husband out of the house. So we're really going to hook her up tonight. Okay. So we'll make it all about your hostess. Um, so when you get into the shopping room, did anybody have any questions so far? I know this is supposed to be about my shopping room, but I just want to tell you how I kind of set that up. Once we get into the shopping room, I have her paper. I sit with my book. I mirror, so do a lot of mirroring. Okay, do you guys know what that is? So mirroring is basically if she wants to stand, I'll stand. If she's sitting, if she's touchy, I'll be touchy. If she's kind of like pulled back a little bit, I won't be like, I'm a very huggy person, but I won't be like that with her. I want her to feel completely comfortable. Also, another way when I set up my shopping room, say this is the shopping room. Wouldn't that be nice if our shopping room was big? <laughs> say this is the shopping room. I always sit like here, and I have her come in this way if that's the door. I don't want her to have to come in and come around back this way and feel kind of trapped. Like, oh, gosh, I'm in this room, and I have to buy something. I want her to feel totally comfortable. So I always have her back to the door. I have me sitting in front of her. Usually there's two chairs. We sit, we chit-chat, we laugh, we smile, and all my stuff is behind me. So I bring a full inventory to my parties because I know that women will buy if you bring a full inventory. Um, so what happens is she'll come in, we sit, and I want her to see my inventory behind me. I want her to see it. Oh my gosh, I am going to leave with all my stuff. I tell them right at the beginning of the party, if you pay tonight, you play tonight, okay? So you get to take them. And even if you don't have a full inventory, as long as they're getting something to take home, they don't mind waiting for those other couple products if they get to leave with something that night. So that's another important thing to a reason why to carry inventory. So she comes in, we sit, and I'm her BFF for the next 10 minutes while she's in that shopping room, okay? Um, and so we should chat. And you know, always smile. You want to have your mentality of serving, not selling. So when you look at her, don't just think, oh my God, I'm going to, oh, I can tell she's got money. I'm going to totally, I'm going to get her good. You know, I'm going to sell her a bunch of stuff. You really, truly have to have the mentality of serving her. No one wants to be sold to. Everyone wants to be helped. Everyone wants to be served. So that's something you always have to keep in mind. You know, you really want to, and trust me, even if it doesn't happen right away, eventually in your business, if you have that mentality of serving instead of selling, you will sell so much. It really does make a difference, okay? Um, so just having that mentality that you're there to help her. How much fun did you have tonight? And then she'll say, oh my God, this was so great. Like, I know, wasn't it? These girls are so fun. It was so crazy. And then I just start asking her questions. And I do tell them, I'm going to ask you three questions in the shopping room. And I do ask, um, not right away, but I do ask. And I have this sign in my shopping room and I'll put it up close to the camera, and I'll put this in the um, event as well. It just says, if I don't ask you to book a party or join my team, your order's free. So they're waiting for me to ask them. So they already know, right? And so sometimes when I ask, and I never actually use the words book a party. I always say, um, when's the last time you get together with your girlfriends? Or when, when do you want to get your free shopping spree? Nikia's getting her free shopping spree tonight. When do you guys, when do you want to get your free shopping spree? So I never really make it like, and sometimes you're like, oh, I've got to book a party. They, they really do sometimes act like it's 
production. Um, I had to book a party. I promised her I would. No, this is going to be a fun night. We can even do quickies. Um, I'm a big fan of weeknight parties in and out. We can do a quickie. We can be out of there in two hours. Okay. So this is something. I'll also put this in the. Um, and I don't. Again, I don't know where I got this. Somewhere somebody made it at some point somewhere. Um, and I just keep it. And I just keep it in my shopping room. Um, I always keep. I also keep this right on my um, demo table all the time, um, just to let them know. And so I do play the ask me game in between the liquid lines and the toys. And one of I'll say, does anybody know how much the average pyromance consultant can make at their um, when they're first starting? And people just look, and I'm like, and no one knows. How, and they'll, oh, two fifty. I'm like, yes, how did you know that? You know, just kind of a joke. But I want everybody to know that that's what they can make. But anyway, sorry, I'm getting off track. But so once we're in the shopping room, um, when I'm talking to them, I'm saying, how much fun did you have? And then I'll say, so what were, did you have? Any, what questions did you have for me? Um, most of the time, but I don't have any questions. And then they ask a question. I don't have any questions. Well, actually, I do have a question. And so I'm there to ask, answer any question they may have, whether it be about the products or uh, just anything, anything they would have. Oh, well, uh, well, me and my husband are going through a situation right now, or I just got married, or whatever it is. I want to be able to help. I want to be able to help her with her situation and her what she wants to leave with tonight. So um, now that she says no, I don't have any questions. I just say, okay, well, what would you what would you like to take home tonight? Oh, I really want the coochie cream, of course, because that's the first thing, because then they refer to their list. Like, where's your, the, or then maybe if they break out the book and they start going through the book, I'm like, girl, what's on your list? Because I know her list is stuff she wants. So it's always coochie the first thing, because when I do my demo for coochie, I always say, ladies, if you don't have coochie in your shower, it should be on your wish list. Everybody wants to leave with coochie. If I know 10 people are coming to the party, I bring 20. Everybody buys at least one. So we want to make sure you're getting your coochie cream, okay? Um, and I just learned this from the Kia, um, from Christina Heil um, at our training in Philly. She says, which I think this is great, and I just started doing it this weekend. Um, she says, ladies, I sell so much coochie per month that it pays my mortgage. So if somebody's out there thinking like, oh my gosh, she pays her mortgage just with the coochie she sells? Shoot, right? So it kind of still, you're always planting seeds, right? Um, so it's always coochie. Oh, awesome. So you want some coochie cream? Great. What scent did you want? And I always have my body dues lined up and um, they can smell the scents. And I'll say, oh, you know, I like radiant orchid. Okay, great. Did you want to have a body dew to go with that? Um, if she hesitates a little, I'll say, if you buy a body dew with it, I'll give you a dollar off. Just, I just throw that right out there and I'm like, all right. So if she wasn't going to buy the body dew, a dollar. Women can't pass up a sale. Like, I mean, I know I can't, right? I mean, how many times have you been shopping online and you're looking for yourself and it's like, if you spend another $40, you get free shipping. <laughs> shipping is like five bucks. But I'm like, oh, wait, I need this. I want that free shipping. So I just throw that right out there. She hesitates a little like, uh, how about if I give a dollar off? Don't tell me. I'm going to give you a dollar off of that. Okay. You know what? Yeah, put it on there. Same scent. Okay, great. And then we just literally go, so she's sitting here, and I'm looking, I can see what's on her list, and I can tell, okay, when she says, I want coochie, okay, how many? I always say how many, no matter what she taught, whipped, coochie, just like me, any of those kind of products, how many? So, or maybe sometimes if they come in, and they'll say, I just want coochie cream, okay, they just want, I'm like, girl, it's $7 shipping, no matter how many things you order, what can I, can I give you another one for 10% off, how about that? All right. You might as well, you're paying the seven anyway. So you just really want to kind of work, and you can kind of work, you could say a dollar or 10% is $2. Um, whatever your discount is, you can kind of work with them, but you really just kind of want to get them upselling. So maybe if you demo the hard throb or the hot heart, you know, and I even say this during my demo. So girls, this is our hot heart massager, or this is our hard throb. Just to, I sell my hard throbs so quick that a lot of times I don't demo them because I want to, I want to have what I have, you know, I want to have what I demo. So if I'm demoing, I'll say, girls, you don't want a dry rub, okay? So you want to make sure when you get your hot heart, you get yourself a cream or you get yourself an oil or you really kick it up and get that cake it, okay? So you always want to make sure you're selling. So when they come in and say, you know, I think I'm going to do the hot hearts. Okay, do you want one or two? Um, I just want one. Oh, well, they're 16 each, two for 29. Sure, I'll get, the tw I'll get the two. So just always keep asking them what else, what else, and let me offer you a discount on the second one, right? Um, 
And again, if you're getting hot hearts and it's fine. This is what this is why they're doing this for you. Pure Romance is offering things like that in a six pack, so that way you can be able to offer that to them. Okay, so you can get that extra sale. You know what? Let me just do two. Okay, awesome. What do you not? Do you want something to go with it? What do you want to go with your heart? Did you like the cream? Oh, isn't that awesome? The Serenity cream. That one we we demoed out there was the um, sugar melon. Did you like that? I didn't really want a cream. I was thinking about maybe an oil. Okay, great. Which oil did you want, right? So it's never do you want it, it's which one, okay? Um, and then, you know, the best case scenario is for them to get a um, the candle. So then once you do, I don't, do they still sell the um, erotic massage books? No. Okay, so I, I bought like 10 of those after, and I think I have like three or four left, and I carry them with me. And I do tell them, if you do buy, Two massage products, you can get that for twelve dollars. So I think it was like twenty originally. So it's I'm always just trying to go the next. Okay. Um, also, I'm not one to I don't pass toys at my parties. I know I'm like everyone passes toys. I'm the only one that doesn't. But I tell them, ladies, I don't pass toys at my party because none of you guys will pay attention to me if I do. Um, but and this also gets them into the shopping room. But in my gun case right here, when you guys come into the shopping room, you guys can test out anything you want in the shopping room on your nose. So when they come in, I want them to come in and I want them to look at my toys in there. So that's just another reason for them to come in because sometimes girls come in, I don't really have any money. I'm going to come in. I just want to see what you got. I'm going to come in. Like, oh, I'm like, All right, listen, sit down. Let's talk. I don't want them to feel like I'm trying to sell to them, but I want them to be able to leave with something. So I want them to come in, at least talk to me. I want to see where they are. Well, I don't get paid till Friday. No problem. Let's shop. I'll get all your order together. I'll take your credit card information, and I'll charge your card on Friday, and I'll ship it right to you then. How's that? Wow, you can do that? I sure can. So just trying to get every single person in that shopping room, you can work with anyone. You just want to get them in there. Um, so how many? What else? Every single time. What else? What else? Even if I can see they only have like six things on the shopping and they already have like three things crossed out and they're like, I'm only going to be spending three. Like I'm only going to be buying these three things. I see that on their wishes, but I still say, what else? What else? I still ask them because inevitably I'm going to say maybe eight out of 10 times. You're like, actually I did like the so-and-so, but I, do, you, do you have that here? I sure do. Do you want to feel it? So another thing that you want to put the toys in their hands, I really like that premiere, that little ring thing. Oh, here, check it out. And I hand it right to them and I'm like, oh, this is nice. I'm like, I have some here if you'd like to take one tonight. Um, all right, right? So you just want to be able to get them happy. Um, I also I also always um, talk about, during my party, about VIP benefits. So, and I recommend this for everyone. And I know they talk a lot about that, about this in training, but I always recommend doing a VIP um, bump them up. Okay, so when I first started, um, I, it was a hundred dollars. If you spend a hundred dollars, you're going to get uh, a free gift from me. Okay, so I one time Pure Romance offered the basic bullet, that little pink that's not even in the book, right? They offered them for like half price, and they used to come in six pack, and it was like I ended up getting them for two dollars and twenty five cents. That's how much my cost. I bought 200 of them. So I was like, that's going to be my ticket for everybody to spend. So I would say to them, if you spend $100 tonight, you're going to get a free toy. You get to get a free toy. So everyone loves that idea, right? So I don't do that now. And then I, my, my VIP was 150 Now I have a spank box. It's just like this little box. Actually, one of my girls found it at like a yard sale. It's really cute. And it looks like a treasure chest. And you open it up. And I just throw like discounted products in there. Stuff I got for super cheap. Um, I mean, whenever they're having a big launch, that's kind of when you want to invest in getting some of the cheaper, not cheaper, but discontinued stuff. So it's going to be, hmm? if you want, yeah, go get it. So I always have that. And I just say, anybody, and I talk about the benefits of VIP. Okay, so ladies, here's what we do. Anybody that becomes a VIP with me, you get to be in my VIP groups. You qualify for all my exclusive specials. And you also um, get to qualify to be a product tester. People always want to become a product tester. Now, they're still going to have to buy the products. They just buy them for super cheap. I mean, I just offer my product testing stuff for 45% off. So I say, if you want a product, because we get them at a discount, and I'm at a 55% discount, so it's not that big. And I, I only order on sale days. Oh, I, 
listen, my car can sit there for two weeks. I will only order on a sale day. Only order on a sale day. Okay. Um, so, and I know maybe some of you are new and you need to build up that stock, but these are just tips that are just going to help you once you get to the point where you want to get. Um, so I'll say to them, it's so you need to become a VIP. You want to be a VIP with me. And I just talk about the importance And I do tell ladies, my average order at a party is $178. Um, but tonight, if you ladies spend, I don't ever say that. Actually, I say, if you ladies treat yourself. So always say treat yourself. Don't ever say if you spend, if you spend. They don't want to think about it like that. They, you have to get them in the mindset of they're treating themselves. They deserve, the, they deserve this for themselves. So you can always say that. I say my average order is $178. However, if you treat yourself to just $150, you automatically become a VIP. And you get to pick anything in my spank box for $10. Now, if you treat yourself and you really want to treat yourself tonight and you spend 200 or more, you get anything in my spine box for free. So even if you're offering, now Kikia has hers. I have sort of like, can you put it up here? So mine's, kind of, so mine's probably very similar to hers where it's just stuff that she got at a discount. So these are what the tickled pins or please me. Um, maybe this came from your um, grab bag. Right? Slumber parties. Okay, so and anything like that, but there's stuff in here that's just older stuff, like the quivers, okay, they were like super dirt cheap. Anything like that. I even put liquid line in mine, like I bought a bunch of the escapes when they were going out, um, the, the, the back, uh, the bubble bath. Mm -hmm. Anything, you just want to throw it in here. Anything that I get for a discount. And um, when they had like the 50 Shades stuff, the Masterpiece collection, like the paddles ended up being like, mm -hmm. Five bucks, I think. But I used to say you can get any. And when, it, when they reached 150, I'd say you can get anything for free. Now I say you can get anything for ten dollars. And I thought, oh, if I offer that, maybe they want to. But they do. So if they're at like 173 dollars, I'm like, oh, girl, you're only 27 dollars away from getting something for free. So I'm always referring back to their list. So if they place their order and it's comes out to 119, I'm like, girl, you want to, you definitely want to get to reach in my spank box, don't you? You're only what's that? 31 dollars away. That's the only math I'm good at is trying to sell. <laughs> You're only $31. What else is on your wish list? And I can see it. And they're like, mm, I bought another coochie. Right but if you want a coochie in between your sheets, I see between the sheets. Oh, that would do it. They're like, you know what? Go ahead. So always just mention to them, you're only this much away. You're only, like, it's only this much away from getting to the next level and getting to something that is in the spank box, whether it's for 10 bucks or for free, okay? You always want to make sure you guys are doing that. Also, be super gracious, okay? Just be super gracious. I cannot tell you how many times I say the word Ladies, if you can mute, you're done. You're hard to say. I didn't say they were, but. The cheap ones. Well, Emma's got the cheap ones. Hmm? All right. Tens views. What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> All right. Now let's try this again. No judgment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, I forget what I was even talking about. Oh, be gracious. I cannot tell you how many times I say the words thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're treating yourself tonight. This is so great. You're going to have a great time. You and your partner are going to have so much fun. You're going to really love those products. You're really going to enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you for hooking up Nakia. She really wanted to have a really successful fun girl night in. So just, I'm just really, I just smile a lot. I'm gracious. I want this to be about her. I want it to be about my hostess. Um, and so, so those are some of the things that I do. We can even do some um, role playing scenarios if you want to. Just how when people come in and they're like, you know, I don't want that or I don't have, you know, whatever. And I just really just, but I will tell you working for, whether, and my girls don't use these, a lot of them, they use just the, um, they use the, um, 
the connection card. Doesn't matter. I mean, I've even said before, listen, girls, these books are yours to keep. You can draw hearts or stars or big fat penises, whatever you want in there. I just want them creating a wish list of stuff that they want. And even if they don't get it, because I keep these, because this is my customer connection card. So like, I'm going to take my paper. I'm like, like I want to see what's on there. I'm like, no worries. Go ahead, take a picture. I'll have them take a picture of it because I want to keep this. Because if I see at a party that like maybe like seven people wanted main attraction, but only two got them, there's five main attractions that I'm going to try to sell. So who do you think is going to go in that event in a week or two, the next payday or whatever, and say, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Main attraction is 25% off today. Who wants one? I have three that I can ship out tomorrow. So it's really good to have that wish list. So that way you always have that so you can work with them to get future sales. And it gives you a great opportunity to reach out to them and say, how do you, how are your other products? Like how's everything working out? Like, did you, I know you had a great time you told me that night. Are you guys still enjoying your products? And just find out, is everything working okay? Have you had a chance to enjoy yourselves? That type of thing. So um, does anybody have any questions? Oh, look at me, I'm all big. All right. Does anybody have any questions for me? Um, I do. Yes, ma'am. How long does your shop room usually take, like per person? Um, I'm gonna say I'm pretty good about my shopping room. I'm pretty like I've even said to ladies if they come in, they have their wish list, but this is them. Did you ever? How much fun did you guys have tonight? Oh, I had a great time tonight. Okay. No, I'm not sure. Do you want to go head out and figure out what you want and then come back in to me later? I've even said that before. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say like, you know, I've never timed it, but maybe like 10, 15, 12 minutes. Okay. I can't imagine it's more than like 10, 12 minutes. And that's kind of long because I'm just, she's basically rattling off because she already knows what she wants. She's just picking what she wants because she wants to get to the VIP number. She's just trying to get to 150 or 200. So she's rattling off. So it does make it easier. Maybe she wants to smell something else. Or I did want to smell the different scents of the liquid line. Um, but it is pretty quick in there. But a lot of my parties, I do have high volume, high attendee parties. So a lot of my parties I have, um, I think my average party is maybe like 12, 13 people. Um, just because I tell them they need to invite like 25, 30 um, and I, you know, you know how that goes. I mean, just right. like with anything, you know, you invite a bunch of people and half don't come and then, you know, half of those cancel on the day of. So, um, and you know, when I think about that, you know, you think when you have a good party like that, that's just more, now not everybody spends 150, but some ladies will spend 250. So when you think about those ladies, they make up for the ones that don't, right? So does anybody else have any questions? Yes. Yeah. So you focus on the wish list. I mean, you I do. make that wish list while you're doing your presentation. Correct. So that you can just do boom, boom, boom in the shopping room. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I just make, you know, I just have them make a wish list. whether And I do. I go through during the party. So who here has more than five items on their wish right. list? Okay. Who has ten items on their wish list? Who has? Because I want them filling that whole entire thing out. It just makes it easier when we're in the shopping room for them to come in and be like, oh, my gosh, you know what, I actually, oh, you know what, I did want to get that. I forgot. Yeah, I do want that. You know, then I'm like, girl, you're only $23 away from getting a toy for free. And they're like, oh, you know what, I, I, what, else on your, what else is on your list that you want? You know what, I actually do want that basic instinct. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Bam, you're too afraid of it or whatever. So, anybody else have any questions? Vicky. Oh. 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 So I want to somebody has a question. Oh, somebody on here? Um, is it a chat? Oh, her. Her. She, but she's muted, I think. Oh. Oh, hold on. We're going to look at one. Oh, she's like, Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've muted people. Sorry. Wait a minute. Um. Let's see. Unmute. Okay. Try again. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What do you do? I know you said you um take your your gun case in the shopping room yes. to, to get everyone in. Yep. What do you do when you have someone that still doesn't come in? How do you try to contact them afterwards to get an order? Well, usually they end up, if somebody ends up leaving the party, they'll end up leaving their whole, like, thing. 
so they'll leave their, so I tell them, you know, at the end of the party, I say, ladies, the books are yours to keep, the pens are yours to keep, because I have my name, but the lap boards and the papers come back to me. And so they usually just end up leaving everything. Um, I mean, if there's someone that leaves with their paper, there's really nothing I can do, but that doesn't really happen often. Um, mainly everyone wants to come in. And I tell them, if you're not planning on shopping tonight, but you just want to come in and ask a question or see the toys, you can do that as well. So I really just want everyone, once I get them in there, I know I'm good. So I'm really just trying to get everyone in there. Yep. Okay. And people that do leave and that leave it, because they end up just leaving it there, I contact them. Hey, girl, did you want to get anything from Nikia's party? But I do try to close out my party that night. But I will ask. I will follow up on people that ended up leaving, especially if they have, like, a bunch of stuff on their Well, I ask everyone. It doesn't matter. But when you see when people have, like, you know, 15 things on their wish list, you're like, oh, i got to call her, right? So, yep. Yes, ma'am. Um, if you see people have a whole lot on their list and they're like, oh, maybe I'll get it next time, is that when you talk to them about? Yes. Why don't you have ladies night or yes, that's exactly what I say. So I do always ask them in the shop room too. Um, when do you want to have your free girls night in? But even even if they order like two hundred fifty dollars worth of stuff, I'm always like, when do you want to have your free girls night in? What do you, or I might say to them, when's the last time you got your girlfriends together? So it may not even be about getting free stuff for that particular person, but I want them to still want to have a party. So, um, yes, especially if they're like, look, I'm on a tight budget. I only have, you know, $80 to spend tonight. Um, I'll say to them, girl, you need to have a free shopping spray. When can we set that up for that? When can we set you up? Yeah. My text messages come through my computer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Scenarios like something you've gone through and see how you can. You do? Sorry. No, I was just going to ask, what if you have that one person that, because I had it happen, it it actually worked out fine because everybody else was like, oh, forget you. Um, but she's just like, no, I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. I'm just not buying anything. But then she comes up, okay, well, maybe I'll get one thing. How do you still kind of? try to get more sales out of that person when they seem really adamant about only the one thing. Once we're in that shopping room and it's just her and I and we're sitting across from each other and I'm smiling and I don't look threatening and I'm not forcing her to buy anything and I'm more focusing on her Treat. helping her okay. like and treating herself and not like I'm going to sell to you. Once we're in that tight corner where I'm just like girl what can I do for you? I want to help you out. What can I do to make your life a little bit happier when you get home tonight or in the next whatever. You know what I mean? Like, so I really just, sometimes when you're out in that atmosphere where it's like, you got to get this, you gotta, it's like, you just, she just wants some, she doesn't want to feel like this girl's going to try to sell to me. And I want to show her that I'm not trying just to sell to you. I want to help you. I actually want to help you. I want to get something that you're going to really enjoy. And um, maybe I want to get something that you're going to enjoy or maybe you're going to enjoy with your partner. So a lot of women are like, Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I would feel weird getting a toy, you know, what if my husband doesn't like, you know, I really want to focus on, look, this is, these are bedroom accessories. They're not to replace anyone. They accessor, all right, accessories, like, right? They're there to help you with your partner. A lot of the toys that I show, I'm sorry, that's my phone. A lot of the, <laughs> um, a lot of the toys that I show, I tell them too. I say, you know, we really focus on clitoral stimulation and we just focus I want you to be able to do these with your husband or your partner, you know, wh whoever that is. Like, I want, this is something that you can share with them. Like, we're all about the intimacy. I want to build that intimacy, right? And I do re remind everybody, it's your brain is your biggest sex organ. So we really need to build that intimacy before you can, you got to have it up here first, right? So, yep. I think just getting them in the shopping room, once you can work with someone one-on-one -on -one and they're not around their friends, I think they're different, you know? Yeah. Anybody else have any questions? Nope. Is yeah. anybody? Uh, I have a sneak Do you all have any questions? Any other questions? Keisha, you can unmute yourselves. 
Um, do you all have any questions? Doesn't look like anybody else has any questions. <laughs> Tanisha has a question. No, you don't have a question. You're no, not muted. So oh, you're just they waiting. Actually, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Oh no, Chris is still there. Um, okay. Awesome. No other questions. Do the ladies always spill your connection? Yeah. Like we're not start. Not ready to get started yet. We haven't filled out our paper. Yep. I make everyone feel so you, like you I'm, I'm always just kind of like looking. I'm like as soon as and I'm at, as soon as everyone's done, then we'll get started. As soon as everyone's finished, oh, we're still waiting for one more person. And so that way, the crowd actually helps her along with that. And I want to get them, especially if they're drinking. I want to get that filled out first, not at the end when they're writing these all sloppy. I want to get that filled out in the beginning of the party. So I just say it in like a nice. If you say if you say stuff nicely, friendly, and you're smiling, they'll do it. That's what you have to do. I tell everybody. I was telling another girl on another team. I'm I'm actually really mean, but I just smile so people think I'm nice. <laughs> so so I do. I always and then if I see someone because when they do this this page, um, I see somebody they fill out to the hostess and they I'm like, oh no, we're not filling out that part yet. We're, we're not filling out that part yet. Remember? I'm like, oh right, because automatically just want to circle one. It's like. You don't know and I will tell you I've had girls circle a one that have signed up on my team and have bought them and have booked a party a one I have a girl on my team right now she had a one but then before, of course before the party started she circled one one and then when I started talking about when we did the ask me anything game in between the liquid line and the toys I started talking about how much money I make with your romance and how fun it is and how, what a great thing it is for your family the trips you can win and just getting out of debt and the debt that I pay down or all of that. Then all of a sudden, like we're in the shopping room and she actually asked me, you know, when I was talking to her about booking a party, she's, I said, well, when do you want to have a girl's night? And she's like, I was actually thinking about maybe doing this. I looked at her paper. I said, really? Cause you have a one. And goes, I know I circled that before you started. You said not to do that. And I did. And now I know why, because I really think this might be something great. And she ended up signing up the next day. So, you know, that's why I'm like, don't fill this out yet. I have to show this to my boss. I make it sound like I have to show this to my boss, Mr. Gray. I want to get good marks. So they don't even really read it. They just see that there's something. Oh, I'll worry about that later. You know, usually at the end of the night, they're feeling pretty good, you know, and they've already had their wish list. I'm like, you know what? I feel like I want to get a girl's mind in. I want to have this. I want to get a free shopping spree like Nikita does. So that's another way to get sales up is, and I never used to do this, but I do this now. I've been doing it for about a year and a half, um, and it's not for everyone. I can do it because I'm at a higher discount, but I will offer you, you it's 10% of your party sales to the hostess, okay? So I do offer hostess specials as well, and if she's, so if she's at an $800 party, obviously she gets $800, but as soon as she reaches 1000 I bump her up to 15%. So she gets an additional, because I get a lot of free product. I have $10,000 a month a lot of times, so I get a lot of free product. That's what that free product is for. It's for my team, and it's for my hostesses, okay? So I will, I use that to my advantage, and I tell these girls, um, this is what we're doing. So I tell them, if you get to $1,000, I'll bump you up. So if I get a girl that's like at $880, you can get her ass. She's going to be out there trying to get $120 worth of orders so that she can get a bonus $50 worth of product. Now, you don't have to do 15%, but you can always say, even if you did it lower, like, okay, so even make it something fun, like $69. So if you reach $690, you know you're going to get $690. If you reach $690, you're going to get $69 for free. If you do reach $690, if, if you're struggling with party sales, yeah, that's mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I do say that. So I do say that. I say, um, if you do, um, what was I even saying? You, or you could even say if you reach a thousand dollars, or even if your party is lower, like if you reach seven hundred dollars, I'll give you. And once you reach over seven hundred, I'll give you an additional twenty-five dollar shopping spray. So it's not really. It's just to get them to that level. I'm always, you know, I'm always getting trying to get them to the next level. Now, if you have a two thousand dollar party, I give you double hostess credits. Now, people are like, oh my god, you give away four hundred dollars worth of free product. I'm like, yeah. Doesn't matter. She's her party was two grand, 
And not, let alone, usually when you have a two grand party, you're going to have at least 15, 16 people there. So times seven, I'm collecting shipping on all those people. Like, it's, to me, it's worth it. Like I said, these are the retail, you know, we, this is what I use my free product for, either for my team or for my hostesses. So I want to hook her up. And I want her, you know, again, if she's at like $1,700, she's probably like, you know what, if I get $300 more, I'm going to get on the phone and try to get that so that I can get more free product. So just, I just always raise it up a level. And this has grown since I started. You know, when I first started, it was like, you know, I don't remember what it was, but, you know, like my VIP was 100, then it was 150, then it was 200, you know. So just, you know, as your business grows, you can do that. And as you get a bigger customer base. So I would definitely do that. So, anybody else? I think we're good. Anywhere, um, whether it be on the no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> whether it be on the coup or um, just the different um, phrases or lingo that you use, um, like if someone doesn't have sales experience. Let me tell you where you can get that. Okay. Watching other people demo and going to trainings. Okay. I will say I. Because that's where I have never, I didn't know yeah, okay. I have never missed a training ever. Like, I've been to every single training, every single meeting. I mean, I do meetings now myself, but I do not miss trainings. And I will tell you, women that are going to trainings on a regular basis are the most successful. And that is where you learn the rest. There is nothing better than watching another person do their demo. So, watching someone else do their demo, you're like, oh my God, that's such a great line. Okay, mm -hmm. like the other night, Christina Heil. But the way she said about the coochie, and she was like, I sell enough coochie in one month to pay my mortgage. I'm like, I'm going to use that line. So my demo is basically just lines I came up with myself and lines that I've stolen from every demo that I've seen. And I'm sure everyone else's is as well. So watching other demos, going to trainings, you're just going to kind of get that. And so, you know, you're always going to be keeping it fresh, keeping it different. People are always coming out with new lines, even new girls. I mean, I learned from new girls. I actually send out invitations. I'm old school. I do Facebook as well. I do Red Stamp as well, but I send out invitations in the mail. And when I send the um, envelope, I say, Lisa Smith and friend. I just write it right on the envelope, and friend. Just adding those two words when I get it. A lot of girls are going to want to come to a party with a friend. And I do tell my hostess, encourage everyone to bring at least one friend because guess what? The friends are always the ones that book the parties and set and spend the most. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, really? I'm like, yes, do it. So I really try to have her do a lot of my stuff as well. So put, And I reward my hostesses really well. I just make them work for it, mm -hmm. you know? So if you have a party with me, you're going to get a lot of free product, but you got to work for it. But they don't mind. They want free stuff. So, and then I want everyone to say, oh, my God, you have a party with Vicky Feeney. I ended up getting, you know, $300 for the free product at my party. So. I will work with her, whatever she needs help with, but I really want her having a great party. Plus, she's bringing people to me to buy from me. She's bringing people to me. I want to totally hook her up. I really don't try to make money off my hostess. I want to reward her. So, I think that's everything, right? Anybody have any questions? All right. Great. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Awesome. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, thank you so much. You're so you. welcome. And I'll pass this because uh, she was talking about her phone, her specials. I got this from Vicki, um, and I do use it um, in my hostess packet that I do you send out. out. I changed it. Oh. oh, I redid everything. Okay. <laughs> um, and make it work and for I you. mine, too. Yeah, make it work for you as well, but... Um, it is on the back here. I mean, I do. Ch I did change the wording um, and everything, so it's not verbatim, but it is. Right. It is good to. Um, and I wanted to do it. this like. Yeah. And so I just want her to know. And so I just booked a party with somebody the other day. Um, it was a corporate lead, and she was like, "I sent her my hostess packet. I mail it and I email. Like, I want her to know yeah. this is what you need to do. Like, she read the back part here that says, hey." If you decide that you want to become a, ho a hostess, a consultant before your party, you can actually, I mean, I can come make money on all her friends, or she can make money on her friends, right? So she actually read this, and she signed up with just this cashback sale, and she bought a deluxe gift. 
right? That would be this one right here. See, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't started yet. So this is going to be one of our new Naughty Vixen. Oh. Yeah. 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 But she had booked her party first, and then she was like, hmm. I know. Exactly. Exactly. Um, at least I love this. You all know I am the big follow-up girl. I call everybody. Um, but I started um, in the COO. There is a form that you can print out. The, that you can actually take the connection form and tape it onto here. Um, do me a favor, because you're the closest. Can you unplug my laptop charger um, plug? It's on, it's going to be on the left side of the desk because we need to hurry up and plug it in before my battery dies. Um, <laughs> um, but um, so I was printing, and I was printing these out to take my connection forms to change them over. To put them on here, but now this is perfect because I do categorize them by birth dates and I send out birthday cards um, mm. to everybody. I, I actually have birthday cards and I found them at Walmart. Like it's a box of 12 cards, birthday cards, and they're blank on the inside for a dollar eighty-eight. I know because I was <laughs> getting them. Um, I was getting them at. Uh, Amazon for $36 or a hundred, but you get more bang for your butt, but <laughs> <laughs> more bang for your butt. <laughs> so we can yeah. 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 I know, right? <laughs> I don't like it though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Forms. Um, I do the four questions. Who went to? Um, bus tour. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who went on the bus tour? Um, Tanisha, you went on the bus tour too. Um, so that is one thing that they talked about is making sure when you're doing your sponsoring, you are doing the four questions afterwards. So no matter what it is that you do, whether it's asking anything or the eight questions, um, to follow up with those four questions and on the back of the card where it has the note sections, it actually has four lines. So you can tweak this even add four lines or do it over here and have them do four, you know, the four lines and ask them the four questions as a follow up. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is in our group um, in the files. I was just going to say, if you do it on that form, it'll force you to ask the questions. Yep. So it will. that's a great idea. Yeah. So it's I might change mine. I absolutely love it, and so those are key. All right, so just a few more announcements. I did remember some that I blanked out earlier. So who's excited for this kit sale? Okay, <laughs> ladies. I like, she's like, hell yeah. I'm getting my money back, right? <laughs> ladies, um, my out-of-state girls, this is a chance for you to get, even if you get one person on your team, you can add at least one person on your team, and this is the word you're going to use. It's risk free. Think about this. You want to be able to tell them you can pay for Christmas in cash, right? Well, they actually can, and they get their money back. So, this is a trial run for them. If they're not sure, all your girls that are on the fence will be like, Girl, Tanisha, look, I know this isn't something that you wanted to do, but look at here. This is risk-free for you. Give me two months to work with you. Two months. All you have to do is just get to the 1500 And if in two months you say, you know what, I tried that, I didn't really like it, guess what? We're going to give you your money back. But guess what? You made an extra minimum $600 in profit before December 15th, before you get to go Christmas shopping. You made your money back on your own, plus corporate sending you your money back. This is awesome, ladies. This is like a, an amazing, amazing deal. So call all your ladies. Don't just do Facebook. Don't just do text. Pick up the phone and talk to them because it's, it's totally different. That connection is different when you're talking with them over the phone as opposed to Facebook and everything. Um, so they only had 2,000. There are now only 1,000 left um, for this okay. special. As of today, yeah, as of today. <laughs> Yesterday it went on sale and they only have a thousand left. So let them know. Any ladies are like, I need to think about it. Let them know there's 
you know, only a thousand left and they want to jump on that deal. Um, also, do know your free products started yesterday. So make sure if you did a thousand dollars or more um, in September, you get free products up until the 15th. And you need to put that in because you, you don't use it, you lose it. And I will tell you, I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, I lost $50. I have a girlfriend that lost $500 in free oh, products. Wow. It sucks. So make sure you are putting in your order. Um, for our team contest for this month, and I have not um, had a chance to do the team contest winners for September because that's a lot of tickets that we have to do. And gosh, you ladies were on the bus tour. You were posting and doing party updates and everything. So I have to put in um, who did what and how many tickets they get. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're not looking in the group because it's pinned right in our Facebook group. Um, and I know that Tanisha got some tickets, Chris got some tickets, Kim and Shalina got some tickets. Um, there are a few ladies that actually earned some tickets to get a chance to get some goodies. So um, August contest. This is a bonus contest. I have not had time to figure out what the October intensive is. Um, did I say August? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. You, you all like, can correct me, you know. <laughs> October. I'm really like, sorry. Like, I'm like, October contest. <laughs> um, I, and this is two separate contests. So for my first level, that means the people that are directly under me, I signed you up. You will be included in this contest for the month of October. The first four ladies that become senior consultants you're going to be entered into a drawing to win $100 cash. Yeah, cold hard cash. If you want it in the bill, that's fine. If you want it to be <laughs> card, I get it. Because they're going to get cash, plus they're going to end up getting their, their, life bonus, bonus. their lifestyle bonus like, the next month. Yep. And they're going to end up getting a lifestyle mm -hmm. bonus. And the next month. <laughs> totally yes. hooking up. Wow. Yes, I know, right? That's yeah. That's awesome. So, yeah, not only will you get $100 from me, November, you get a hundred dollars from corporate. You know, you hit your, your sales requirements. Make sure you do that. But then the level up bonus. And I don't know. We didn't talk about the level up bonus. So pretty much, when you become a senior consultant in October, I think you have till the fifteenth to hit it. Then corporate is going to level you up, and not only do you get your lifestyle bonus, which is a hundred dollars every single month just by having a team, but then they're going to give you three hundred and fifty dollars in December in February and April. Yes. So over a thousand dollars. Okay. Just for working your business. Just for working your business. And hitting your minute. You have to hit your minimums to get it, but I mean that's free money. So people wonder how it is I'm able to stay home. This is part of how we're able to stay home. Um, for my second through fourth levels, the first four that hit senior consultant um, you are going to be entered into a drawing for a main attraction or an encore. Okay, so you, I know, right? She's like, <laughs> Brittany, like, oh, hey, I love it. <laughs> um, so second to fourth level, you still have a chance you're going to be entering the drawing for that. Um, what I wanted to do for October, I want to post, I want you all to post in the group, what are you willing to work for in October? What do you want? Tell me what you want. Yep, tell me what you want. <laughs> Put down what you want. I want you to get the actual incentive that you actually, if it's product, put down more product. If it's cash, put down cash. Um, if it's a spa gift card, put down a spa gift card. If it's your time, put down your time. If it's a night out, if it's maid service, whatever it is, put it down. What did you say, Tanisha? <laughs> oh, crap. I don't think she's muted, but yeah. Wait a minute. Uh oh, I don't think she's oh, muted. She's <laughs> Say it again, she's Tanisha. <laughs> oh. Registration for oh, registration for conference. Oh, wow. oh. That, that, that is smart. smart. That is really smart. Okay, so we put that in. Make sure you mark that in. Okay. So um, I'm going to po a pin a post and. Pretty much, um, it will almost be a you hit it, you get it. I have to work the numbers. Um, but if that is an option, if that's what you want, registration for World Conference or your portion of your hotel paid, if you already paid for World Conference, um, your portion of the hotel, 
uh, pay for a conference or uh, me treating you to dinner while we're in conference. We're going to do the Funky Monkey again. If you <laughs> have not been to World Conference, um, Yvette, went, we went to a drag show. Oh and God, uh, yes, and Tanisha went too, exactly. and we had uh, so much fun. And we, I mean, that is it. We're gonna do it again. Um, so you definitely want to be there uh, for World Conference, which is in March. Um, I'm trying to see what else. Um, okay, so the next thing is making sure you're writing down your goals. Um, we're coming to the end of the year, and this is a kind of uphill downhill type of thing. Um, summertime, we're like kind of down here because summer sucks for a lot of us. Um, with parties canceling, people rather go to the beach than, you know, hang out with us or whatever, they suck. Um, <laughs> you know, our sales are lower and so our mojo is a lot lower. And it's September right. is kind of like that, you're getting up there but it's still that teetering month where you want to do well, um, however, it still is, yeah. October is the time for us to really get in it. And so I'm just telling you, sign up for coach calls. I still do them once a week. You sign up for the one you want. They're just 15 minutes. If you need more than 15 minutes, tell me you need more than 15 minutes. Um, I want to be able to get your mojo back. It's all about goals. You have so many, everybody has a dream. Everybody started this company for whatever reason, whether you just want to make extra money. Tanisha is very much so part-time. But I know when Tanisha's going for a goal, I'll see her sales rise. And she just bought a house and used, she needed uh, closing money um, in February. And so she must like, busted her ass um, doing parties so that she could get her closing costs for her house this year. Um, so it doesn't awesome. matter what you're going for. Everybody knows I was going for Disney. Um, so it doesn't matter what it is you're going for. Whatever your goal is, write your goal down. Okay, stop keeping it in your head and say, oh, I just want $1,000. If it's still in your head, it's still a dream. Okay, so take it out of your head, put it on paper, make it fun. This is my new goal book for right now. Isn't it nice? It's sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, I got it at Walmart. It was on clearance. You might get a couple more. They had them um, at the Walmart right by my house. Um, but this is my daily goal book. I've had this since last year. Um, and I write my goals down every single day, my top 10 things that I want, period, in life, period, with my business, with my personal life, whatever, I write it down, okay? And then once you write it down, start implementing it. It doesn't mean you have to go balls to the walls. Do you write down the same goals daily? Um, it depends. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll add something, um, but I never look back at what I'm writing. So I just write it and then the next day I write it again and the next day I write it again. My bathroom mirror, I have a dry erase marker all over. All I have I have party goals. So my for the week I'll put I have my ultimate goal for the year which is to do a hundred thousand. Actually it's a hundred and ten thousand. Um I have up there in the make board of directors. Um but at the bottom I have my weekly party goals. So I'll say party goals for this week. Um it was three thousand dollars for this week. And I'll break it down. Party number one, this is what I want for party number one. Party number two, this is what I want for party number two, and so on and so forth. And you have it written there. That way when you go to the bathroom and brushing your teeth, you're seeing it. And then at the top, I have, you are a badass. And I'm brushing my teeth, that's why like, I'm a badass. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so something to keep yourself pumped up. Get an accountability partner. Not a gold buddy, because buddy is friendly. You want somebody who can kick your ass and make sure you get there. So get an accountability partner, somebody who was going to say, um, Brittany, did you do what you were said you were going to do last week? Okay, you didn't do it. Well, why not? Okay, somebody will hold you accountable. So that being said, I want to let you guys know I need you all to be my accountability partners. I'm trying not to cry because every time I talk about this, I tear up. Um, you all know last year I did my 20 and 30 challenge where I called over 500 women. Well, I didn't quite get to 500. Um, this year, I'm going for 700. Woo. Mm. I started yesterday, and it's for the next 30 days. Um, I called 20 yesterday. Mm. So I'm scared as shit. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do it because I am determined to sign up 20 women. And it's not even sign them up. I'm determined to help 20 women earn Christmas cash. I am scared shitless. 
but I I want to sh I want to be the best leader for you guys. So I know I'm not always there. I know I put stuff out. Oh, excuse me. I put stuff out and um, I forget to send things out. Don't worry, your stuff is on the way. I promise you. <laughs> um, I'm just all over the place, but I'm telling you. I want to set an example. So I'm not telling you all, you all go out and sign 20 women. You, Whatever your goal is, though, I want you to go ahead and live your dream. If it's, I just want to do $1,000. I just want two parties. Go out and do it and hold yourself accountable. So if you don't see me posting a lot on the board, um, on our group page, make sure you do it. Stop it, Vicki. You're tearing up and you're I'm making not. me want to. Okay. <laughs> Some of you have scary things. Tanisha moved. She moved from Jersey to Georgia. Um, and and it, it's a scary thing to have to start all over again. And um, and I call her out because she is she's my badass. She's my girl that when I say, this is what you need to do, she'll go, all right. And she does it. And I'm like, oh, okay. she did it. Yay. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, okay, you told me to do it. So that's why I did it. You know, Chris is another Baltimore knew no one in California and she's on President's Club. She hit President's Club as of yesterday. Um, so ladies, you just got to go out there and do it. It doesn't matter how scared you are. Be scared. It's good. The fear is good. The fear is not good when it's keeping you held down. So make sure you are not scared anymore. All right. So enough with the tears. Let's get some recognition. Let's cheer <laughs> these ladies on. Okay. So <laughs> we are going to do our top 10 in sales in our whole team, uh, first and fourth level. All right. So number 10 in sales, I'm guessing she's in Cali. Um, with $410, we have Miss Kelsey Stevens. So give a round of applause. All right, with um, number nine, this is another one. Uh, I am going to try not to freak up her name. Okay, with $412, I'm going to make it fancy. Chastia? Chris, is that, if you're still on the phone, is that right? Chastity. Oh, is it Chastity? Chastity. Oh, I see. <laughs> Really messed up her name. <laughs> Chast Chastity Roberts with four hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> so that's awesome. Number eight, she is in Connecticut. I don't think she's on this call. Um, she just signed up two weeks ago. She just signed up her first girl yesterday. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So she is a bad. Wow. She has two other girls that want to sign up. So she mm. might be. Um, the first one to hit senior consultant. Um, with she um is number eight by fifty cents. Four hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. Okay, for Ronique and Connecticut. Our New Yorker, Michelle Jordan, number seven, seven hundred and one dollars and twenty cents. Uh Sonia West in North Carolina, eight hundred and twenty dollars. Um, Miss Keisha Jackson in Jersey with $870. I can see her chuckling right about now. <laughs> number, um, she is number five in sales, $870 on the team. Number four in Georgia, $1,009. Tanisha Lester, she earned some free product. Um, number three, this chick has been kicking butt. She's in Cali. Lindsay Boney, fourteen hundred. She has been my winner in a lot of um, the contests I've been doing. So she's been kicking ass and taking names in Oregon. You know this. We have a lot of naughty vixens everywhere, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so in Oregon, number two with one thousand six hundred seventy-six dollars and fifty cents, Kim Jennings. And our number one, our Cali leader, Miss Chris Sharp, who is also number one in sales and recruiting in Cali, okay, oh, wow. just say, with $8,685, Chris Sharp, our number one, all right, so my top three girls in each level are going to get a ticket for me, so be on the lookout for a pink envelope for me. 
Um, and I have one more, well, two more things to talk about. Um, and then we will end our meeting. So aren't these cute? So cute. Mm -hmm. I have these from Target. You can use this as your booking game, okay? You can take some tissue paper and you can cut out our pictures or whatever of products, put them in there, put a tissue paper in there, and do like a book to look. Okay, only do three of them. Like, ladies, I have some hot stuff going on in November, but I only have enough for three people. You host a fun ladies' night, you will be one of the three, and you get to have them. Even if I have, like, eight of these, I just have them in the back as well. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a great way to, um, and it's cute. It's got the scary cat on it and everything, but it's pink. It's awesome. Um, also, make sure you are saving your money. Um, I have this cute little money can. I'm going to see if I can get some more here. Um, my husband got them for me at the Amish market in Jersey where his parents are. Um, but we do have an Amish market here. I'm going to see if they have them. But you can also get them on Amazon. They don't have a bottom. So whatever you put your money in, you can't get it out unless you cut it out. Start saving for World Conference. Your registration is $199, okay? Every single party you do, take $10 to $20. Put it right on in here, okay? And I make sure. Going. You have 170 days. Yay! <laughs> so she has it on her phone. Um, awesome. I have my check register. You know the check register that you get when you write checks out? Mm -hmm. So since I don't really write checks, I just use it to keep count of how much I'm putting in here. Um, right. at a time so it that helps me to know how much I'm actually putting in here um, so make sure you are doing that and then one last thing give me my phone Vicki I have a question I have a couple of questions actually um, let's see if you know the answers to these questions um, true or false None of our bath line is pH balanced. No. None, of None of our bath line is pH balanced. True or false? false. My out state girls, you can answer too. False. false. No. That would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Our bath line is pH balanced, okay, as well as our just like me, as well as our spotlight lube. Why is pH balance so important? Why is that important that we tell ladies that pH balance is important? To keep yourself healthy. Right. So what does anybody <laughs> know? <laughs> right. So does anybody know? And out of the state, ladies, you can answer too. Does anybody know what your pH balance is? What is, what is the pH balance? No. What is it? When you say it can mess up your pH balance. If somebody says, well, what's the pH balance? Oh, 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 oh. Um, your natural body uh, chemistry. Natural the uh, uh, alkalinity of your, your pH. I, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing parts of it. I'm hearing you, Tanisha, you're right. I'm hearing you, and you're right, and I'm hearing you. So pretty much the best way to explain it, we have this bacteria in our vagina, and we have bad bacteria in our vagina. And if they are imbalanced, we have an angry vagina. <laughs> That's the best way to put it, okay? So you don't have to be scientific with it or anything. We have two types of bacteria in our vagina that have to stay equal at all times. And if they are not equal, our vaginas will hate us. All right, so that's the best way uh, to put it. But um, know your products, know what's in them. Let me ask you one last question. Does anybody know, name all the products that we have that has pheromones in it? Kiss, 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 flirt, flirt, basic instinct, spray, spray, spray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wash. Splash. Yeah. We're skinny dip now. Yeah. We said that for mm -hmm. uh, We said that. Does talc have it in it too? No. 
So, are you ready? Body silk does have it. Mm -hmm. okay. So, it's the complete bath line minus the coochie. Coochie does not have four in it. The men's line minus the talc has um, and the pheromones in it. And the, shave. The, sha and the shave has pheromones in it. So, just spray mm -hmm. and, and wash. wash. Spray and wash has spray. And uh, uh, wash also has a pH balance. That's important for men, too. That's why men, when they use bar soap, they still smell like they didn't bathe. Their pH balance is off. Soap messes up your pH balance. So make sure you stay at your party. Um, basic instinct, flirt, and aura. Aura has pheromones in it. Aura has pheromones in it. If somebody asks you, can you tell me what things have nuts in our products, where would you find that? On the CLO. On the CLO. Yep, on the CLO. Ladies, we have an allergens list. Mm -hmm. It's More really fun. important nowadays with everybody having allergies to everything um, that you print it out. Print it out and laminate it yep. so that you can actually talk to them and say, yes, this does have X, Y, Z in it. And you actually know what you're talking about. You don't want that liability on you. So. And it gets updated with every product launch. It does. It does. So. All right, so we learned some things there, yeah. huh? Yeah, so make sure you actually research and know your product. So that is it, ladies. Thank you so much. Um, my out-of-state girls, thank you guys for coming out. This is being recorded, so um, once it gets uploaded, I will send it to you all. Um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and print it and print it. Go ahead and post it, um, and we'll answer all the questions. <laughs> we are going to go and eat some pizza and have some snacks, um, have a few drinks. You guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon, and we'll talk with you later. All right, thanks. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.